Hey collective, I'm back guys to do a reading. It is a collective read, so it may or may not resonate with you. However, if it does resonate, guys, be sure to hit the like button. So this is uh, messages of how your person is feeling about you. So let's see. Okay, so this person definitely missed being around you. Uh, I f also feel like they can't stop thinking about you. They think about you all the time, but they also know that they they real deal messed up because they're saying that they're grateful for the spiritual lesson. So they really want to tell you how they feel, but it's just that the timing wasn't right. It was something about the timing. And they knew if you found out the truth that it was going to crush you. Okay, so they knew it was their fault as well. But they blamed you for it. They felt you getting closer, like themselves getting closer and closer and closer to you. They may have pulled back um, purposely because they had some other things going on behind the scenes. But the truth be told, this person, um, they like not as together. They don't, their life isn't together. It may seem like it is from a distance or it may seem like, like they trying to stun on you or whatever, whatever. Is their life is not together as it seems. It's not. Trust me. Trust is not. Yeah, there was some deception going on. Uh, uh, this could involve a marriage. Or you could have dealt with this person for a long time. But we got wedding here. So, and deception. So, there could have been some deception. Some infidelity going on. Um, What else? Yeah, some codependency. Could be a Capricorn. Somebody had some type of addictions or the situation was codependent. Maybe this person uh, depended on you too much or you depended on them too much. So somebody stepped out. But they really, honestly and truthfully, they want to give, they want to give um, this relationship a chance. I feel like you and this person may have been separated or y'all could possibly go into it like a separation period but this person wants to come back in and heal things with you we got heal family issues as well as give your relationship a chance they want to know if you're going to be open to giving them some because they want some um i feel like i feel like this person Let's get some more tea on them. Let's let's just get some more tea. I want to know why deception is here. I feel like once this situation that they're in crumbles, then this person is going to want to come around and give this relationship with you another chance. Because I feel like they're with someone else. I feel like they deceived you. They snuck behind your back. And I feel like there could have been like a separation between you and this person. And the reason that you guys could have separated is because there was too much codependency. Like, somebody depended on someone way too much. Um, There could have been addic addictions involved. Somebody could have been possessive, obsessive. Yeah, it definitely was... We got seduction here. And this definitely is when there's a third party interference. And I, I feel like somebody is married, but they still are out dating. They still are out dealing with somebody else. Because we got love call here. But the reason that they act out this way is because they was heartbroken. So they called somebody else and started dating somebody else. This person is not their twin flame. This person is actually a karmic we got coffin twin flame bolt 
this person could be going towards this other person for the abundance. And that's the truth. Okay, this person that they're dealing with could be uh, uh, um, easily be to be manipulated. So, yeah, definitely there was a third party, the third party involved. This third party, they opened up to, they, they feel like this person is the one for them. They feel like this is the perfect person for them. They want to see the relationship evolve um, and grow. Yeah, like the person that they, that they snuck around on you with really feels like they are the perfect match. <laughs> but see, what, what this person don't know is that your person is wearing a mask. <laughs> your person is wearing a mask. He don't have no, he or she don't have no intentions of adapting or changing. It's some sneaky stuff going on because we got stabbed in the back. So, yeah, this person, they don't even really know your person like that. They think they do. But your person is wearing a mask. See, like I said, we got Grim Reaper and Girl with the Snake. This person don't know that that they're being used. I feel like the reason how they hooked up is because your person was telling them how heartbroken they was. And how they was trying to heal and get over it and make better choices. So this person came in and started pouring into your person and now they feel like they're the perfect one for them because they picked them up out of a, a messed up situation. So they put themselves in it. Um, now we got codependence. Codependency. Coffee cup and separation. Okay, so coffee cup. Okay, so it looks like they may have became codependent. Thank you, spirit. They may have came codependent upon this person um, because this person was a good friend. They help uplift them when they meet and they talk. Like they just got a good conversation. This could have happened in in between while you and your person was separated. It looks like it started during like a separation period. This person came around them, showing them that they like them, giving them money. Um, so, that's how I feel like their situation, they're in the situation that they're in now. Because I don't feel like you're with this person. I feel like this person is with a karmic or with dealing with a karmic situation. So it looks like, okay, so it looks like your person could be looking at old photographs of you and them when y'all were together. They're still heartbroken about this. They reminisce a lot and look at the past. Um, they look at the past a lot. They look at y'all pictures. Um, they feel like they could have made, they should have made a better choice. They could have made better choices. They do feel like they stabbed you in the back. I definitely do see a wedding. Like, it's like y'all got married. Kisses, engagement, and a wedding, or y'all was supposed to get married. But I'm seeing, like, a wedding photo, a wedding picture, or, like, when y'all were together. Y'all were soulmates. Okay, so this person could be waiting for you to heal, and then they're going to reach out to you. But I, I see, tell me more. They're going to want to grow this relationship. See, they sabotaged this 
But there, I feel like we got rebuilding, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Now, the dragonflies here do um, be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to the light, adapt, change, heal. Okay, so there is definitely a healing process that needs to be done or is possibly in the process right now. I feel like this person sabotaged this connection so it could be rebuilt. We got a mirror. I feel like you and this person could be mirroring each other's energy as well as like y'all are each other's counterparts. Like they say, you know, if you get married, that's your better half. Okay, so we got mirroring each other's self-image. Relationship reflects our wounds and introspection. So y'all could have been mirroring each other's energy. Y'all could have been mirroring each other's energy. But I'm getting like, yeah, somebody's a runner here. Yep, this person, instead of this person facing, instead of this person facing what's in front of them, I feel like this person ran to a karmic relationship or this is what they are going to do. Like they're going to come back around, tell you all of this. They want to make better decisions, woo, 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 but they're running back to a karmic relationship. Stabbed you in the back. Look at this. Stabbed in the back. They stabbed you in the back because instead of them working to working on the situation, they ran to a karmic relationship. They ran to somebody else and left you heartbroken. And then they look back at the memories, how they snaked you. Yep. They ran off with a karmic. Yeah. Let's put some cards in it. Let's see what's going on with them and the carnage. Let's see what's going on with the masculine and the carnage. Because they totally just ran out. They ran out for somebody else. Now we got the three of wands here at the bottom of the deck. So there's some waiting going on. I told you, I told you. Somebody started giving somebody money in order for this connection to move forward. It is a, a lot of giving. Somebody overextending. Somebody giving. This female is giving this man money. Look at this picture. This female is dropping some coins in this man's hand. This is the type of relationship that they have. This is the type of connection that they have. Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. This is the type of connection that they have. And maybe it's supposed to be on a hush hush. But yeah. <laughs> and it looks like masculine is bored. Masculine is over here bored.
Yep. See, this the masculine can come back and forth as long as she is giving him um giving him things. But I feel like the karmic wants you to regret something that was said. Someone asked somebody to marry them twice. Masculine, no, he can go back and forth. He know he can't play that with you. Yeah. Masculine over here, bored. Somebody could have forced him. Masculine feels forced. Like he was forced to move on. Um, he felt like if you would have saw the truth and you would have waited till it got bad to you, then he would have felt even more messed up about it. So the truth may have, have already gotten out to you. Masculine could have also felt like he didn't have any choice. I feel like he wanted to wait for the truth to come out. But if you would have sought yourself, then you would have felt some type of way. Somebody could be, uh, Karmic could be telling Masculine that she's going to get him a new car. If he just wait. Yeah. I feel like she's definitely... Uh, giving him gifts, giving him money to keep him. I feel like masculine wants to be in and out. He don't really like. I don't feel like he really wants to stay put. I feel like he kind of wants to be all over the place. Yeah, definitely giving him stuff all the time. Like, she is mama. Um, he's made new friends being around her. And masculine wants to hold on to her because it's beneficial to him. She fall through every time. She fall through every time. So it's like, a, where else I'm going to get that from? When I ask her for something, when I ask her to do something, she come through with it every time. And her energy over here is Ten of Cups. But then we got the Tower and the Two of Pentacles. She's surprised that she won. She feel like she won. She feel like she won the masculine. She feel like she was even shocked about it. Like she was shocked. She was surprised that he picked her. He just decided to go in here to give her a chance. But he he felt felt like he needed to tell the truth. I told you, Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. He can go to her anytime and ask her for something, and she's gonna fall through every time. She's gonna do it. 
it's gonna be no no argument, no nothing about it. She could be a fighting sign, queen of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, masculine over there chilling at her house, and yeah, he get to do be toxic all he want, and whatever he asks for, she gonna go do it. They are in business together, like they're like their their relationship is kind of like a business relationship we got the three of pentacles and the ten of pentacles so yeah they have like this business type of a relationship like that's how they operate he asks for something and she gonna fall for it whatever he says she fall for it she may be younger than him with the six of cups all he got to do is tell her that it's something not true she gonna believe what he say Yeah, she is, she is his little, uh, yeah, <laughs> his little, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, so that's what's going on with them two. Like, they got this arrangement. It looks like an arrangement, like a business arrangement where I give you the power over the relationship and you give me the money. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. What's going on? <laughs> So it's kind of weird, but yeah, that's what's going on guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the conversation below and I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.